Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today, I'm going to entitle this video one of my favorite sayings. Someone told me this or mentioned this in a marketing meeting, it had to be at least 20 years ago, and it stuck because it made a lot of sense. You don't know what you don't know. So, with that said, I'm going to go into my presentation. From time to time, I get this. Someone sends me an email saying, Hey, I'm a DJ producer, music producer, and uh, I like your guitar style. Could you send me some guitar licks? I want to use these licks in a composition. Now, you don't know what you don't know. It's real simple because it makes sense. It's just kind of common sense. If you're going to put together a product that you're going to sell, everybody that's included in creating that product that you're about to sell should get paid. Hello. You know, it just makes sense unless there's special arrangements. And here it is. You get paid two ways or here's here's how it's done. Two or three different ways. The first way you just straight out pay somebody for their services. If they're going to do this for you, you pay them unless number two, they are cool with you and they just decide to help you. Or you don't have any money and they like doing it. They do it. Or the third way. I don't have any money right now, but once it starts to sell, you get some on the back end. You know, you get some money when it starts to generate. So that's three different ways, because there's some people that just think that uh, you're supposed to tribute to something that they're going to make money off of. And you you OK with that. You're not going to get a penny because it's not about the money. It's about the principle. If someone's going to do something for you, pay them, especially if it's a service, you know. Wouldn't you like to get paid if you did something for someone? Unless, again, you've made an arrangement with them or that's your brother, or your family, or you're cool with them. I got time. I give you whatever you need, my brother. You know, and that's fine. That's wonderful. But uh, I thought I would post this video because there's some people that don't understand that. You know, there's a business to the music of business and you need to know the business aspect of the music. as opposed to just I'm just playing, you know, I'm just DJing, you know, unless you have someone to represent you in that in that uh area you know if you're not versed in that you got somebody next to you that would do the accounting do the business thing you know but again i thought i would post this video because uh you know i get this sometime i'm like so what about me you know you want me to contribute to your thing and give you my time and i don't get nothing but a thank you i don't think so this is business my brother i don't know you you don't know me this is business so let's handle it like business and some from sometimes i get this too and it's on the same category as what I just you know mentioned uh and you know again you don't know what you don't know and uh people see stuff that I don't say hey they say hey I like that could you do this for me I got a tavern service you know because again every time that you watch one of those videos with the cords against the screen that's usually like two hours worth of work you know and if three people ask for that in the same day different songs that's six hours of my day for free I don't have six hours of my day to get my wife I wish I had 24 hours to give to her and my family and my daughter. But the realization is I don't. You know, so sometimes I have to post these kind of videos for people to say, you know what, Moist Man? I didn't know that. Thank you. My apologies. Here's your money. <laughs> and so the other thing that I get is just, which is, you know, kind of normal. Uh, people see the covers they like. Is, Could you do this for me? Could you do this? I got a tavern service. You know, if you want anything done, $15 a song to some minimum. And when I explain that to people, some people say, OK, I'm going to back off because I'm not trying to pay, you know, because uh, they, they thought they was going to get it for free, you know. And then the other ones, they do this to me. Uh, OK, uh, I get back with you tomorrow. I'll give you a list and, uh, you know, we take it from them. Never hear from them again, you know, because, again, my father saying is simply this. Being a man, never asked another man for something you're not willing to pay for. Let me repeat that. Being a man, and we're not talking about kids because kids beg all day because they don't have any resources to give you for what they want from you. But being a man, a grown man, never ask another grown man for something you're not willing to pay for. It's just that simple. You know, I'm a stickler for that. Uh, and, and you might think this is crazy because my, well, I won't get into that, but I'm just going to say this. People that I enlist their services, whether they whether they want it or not, I give them money because I'm like, uh, I don't want no backlash. I don't want you to get mad at me one day and, and, and say this because I'm never going to have anybody ever to say this about me because of how angry they get with me. I gave this to him and he didn't give me nothing. 
You ain't going to never be able to make that statement about me. Because every time you do something for me, I'm going to pay you for your service. It's just that plain and simple. I got people that are close friends of mass and uh, I do things for them. And, uh, you know, let me take your money. You know, uh, what should I say? Uh, they do things for me. Oh, I do. I can't even get this, get this right. Well, what I'm trying to say is whenever somebody does something for me, I compensate them for their time. You know, just 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 my thing. You know, my, my dad taught me that when you become a grown man standing on your own two feet and pay people for what you want them to do for you, because uh, he said, here's the riddle. Here's a riddle. What do you call a person that asks for something that's not willing to give you anything in return? A beggar. And uh, two things people don't like. They don't like snitches and they don't like people begging. You know, that's what my dad used to say all the time. And I live by those things that he, he mentioned when I was growing up. So, you know, again, I thought I would post this video for people that are kind of on the fence as far as they don't understand or realize that this is how it's supposed to work. You don't just go out there with your hands out and ask for stuff that you're not willing to pay for. You know, it's just that simple. So from time to time, I post these kind of videos because from time to time I get those type of inquiries. People that want me to do a bunch of covers for free. Like I got a whole two hours to set aside for these special people and the people that understands it and pay me, you know, uh, I do the same for those people. It's just not it's just not fair. It's not fair to the Daves. It ain't fair to the Eddies. It ain't fair to the Jamals. It ain't fair to the Disco Dance. It ain't fair to Tracy Rich. It ain't fair to Boris. And the list goes on. You know, it's not fair to James. I'm actually, as a matter of fact, I just posted a. A bass lesson for James, you know, he paid me for, you know, doing the cover and, and, now, and I'm getting ready to post. So actually, yeah, this would be posted first and then the cover be posted after this video. But again, uh, I understand you don't know what you don't know. You know, sometimes people got to put you to the side and say, hey, though, dude, this is, what, this is what this is about. This is how you handle it. OK, thanks. I didn't know that because I was doing it this way. Yeah, we know. And it was kind of wrong. So on that note, I'm going to sign off to next time. Take care. Thanks for watching.